schools all across the country are struggling right now to keep up with teacher burnout, staffing challenges. Many of them are leaving the classrooms and they're stretched thin. But an 11 year old and a 19 year old from North Texas just started an AI company and you could see it in a school near you. Nicole Nielsen with the story and a sneak peek at how AI could change the foundation of education. Remember to raise your hand if you want to speak. As a teacher, sometimes you just need a second hand. Now let's kick things off with an interesting question. Or in this case, another brain. They're overworked, they're stressed, and we, we demand so much from them. For 19-year-old Janak Panchel and 11-year-old Rishan Dutia, that idea turned into an artificial intelligence company. On average, teachers will spend about 10 hours a week just putting on YouTube videos or some sort of multimedia content, and then that's if they're actually present in the classroom. They both attended the Humanist Academy in Irving, a micro school known for experiential learning, which brought them together on multiple projects. They soon realized they made a good team, and AI was their playground. Every time I see a problem, it's a puzzle, and I feel like I can fix it with technology. They found their problem, overworked and overstimulated teachers. Their solution, co-guide smart classroom an assistant that's designed to help teachers, not replace them. What do you think is the biggest difference between DNA and RNA? The device sits at the front of the classroom and is privacy first, using a webcam to map students with simple geometric shapes. No faces, no recordings. Teachers can type in any topic of discussion into the program on their computer and AI can lead them, call on specific students, and provide real-time feedback to teachers about who's engaged, all while they can take some time to grade, lesson plan, and more. Teacher is still the brain behind it. This is only executing it. Right now, the device is being tested at the Humanist Academy, saving teachers an average of 10 hours a week and offering lessons in 32 different languages, giving us a look at what the future of AI in the classroom could really look like. There's a lot on their plate, right? And just taking one extra thing off could really help inspire the next generation better. In Irving, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.